Smallens Radio Sport in association with Leak Building Society. In the first half, we were so dispirited up here, and we asked, I, I asked in commentary, can the league players become men? Second half, they needed to. They've been bullied about around the pitch. They were second best. In fact, they weren't even second best. They were third best, if anything. But you earned a corn in the uh, half time, and the second half was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we've um, we made a double change at, at half time. You know, I think it's it's, it's evident that where we're um, short at the minute and what we need, and um, and that and that is absolutely no. Um, discredit to any of the lads that are playing up there. You know, ultimately we're playing at the moment without a number nine. And, and actually, for the first ten minutes, they didn't touch the ball. You know, we moved the ball around so nicely, but with no punch. You know, we didn't hurt them once. We didn't get into areas in behind them. We got through to the mid third really, really well. And Brendan and Shents were picking up some great spaces. We were playing, you know, overloading the central part of the pitch. And, and you could see on the side that they, that they were concerned about that, and it was causing them some problems. The first opportunity they've got to play a ball in down the side of us, you know, it goes into our channel, um, and, and in the end they ended up working across an opportunity, and obviously Curly gets uh, mounted at the back post. And again, he's, he's a young lad who's learning, who's an incredible talent with huge potential. And the fact that you know we talk about minerals and the characteristics to win football matches, the fact that he's the man that's you know after playing what what would have been 170 minutes probably by that point, 175 minutes over the course of three days that he's still got the ability to sprint in behind and win us that penalty um, is testament to the character. Um, team spirit's not built on nights out. Team spirit's built in moments when, when you, you face adversity. And um, listen, we haven't had a bad start to the season, but we have suffered back-to-back defeats and it's always worse when obviously the manner of the defeats that we've had. So then coming here today against a team that haven't won and being behind in the game, yeah, we, we, we learned a lot about them, didn't we? So yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon with with that second half uh, performance and, and obviously the personnel that came into the game to help as well. So, taking the expletives out of your half-time talk, what did you actually say to your players at half-time? Uh, to, to be honest, I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't need to. The, 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 players, the players knew and the players did that for me. It was very much a case of trying to... Um, we changed the shape. Obviously, we changed the shape. Um, we, we obviously brought Nathan on up front to provide... Uh, some focal point and, and be a nuisance which, which he was I uh, thought he was you know I asked him uh, and again it wasn't a, a spontaneous decision this, this is something I've been thinking about um, you know and, and, and I think when you ultimately you have to be at your most creative in life when you're when you, when you have constraints that you have to work with it and at the moment with the group that we've got we have obviously constraints on the group with, without Gricey uh, available we haven't got a, a recognised number nine so we had to get creative and that was something that we'd already thought about. It was pre-planned in terms of if we need it, that's what we can do. Obviously we've got Hursty buzzing around him and, and penetrating with the speed he's got. And it caused all sorts of problems, didn't they? And Woolley came on and had a real influence as well playing in that pocket. I thought he, he really came in and influenced the game, which was really pleasing. Um, so it was more tactical, if I'm being completely honest. But yes, we addressed the fact that we had been physically and psychologically second best. We were being bullied. Um, again, I said I, I hadn't. I hadn't seen a duel in the game whereby I hadn't seen a leak shirt being torn off by a matlock arm. Well, the referee wasn't going to give anything, so we we've got to learn quick. Um, we've got to start appealing for things, and the game smarts that ultimately you need to do to come away to anywhere and win a football match. We have to learn quick, and thankfully the experience in the dressing room um, sort of took that upon themselves and the young lads as well. You know, they, what, you know, it was a great second half performance, wasn't it? I thought we were really, really good. Yeah. Uh, and I was so pleased for Woolley that he got on the score sheet because he's not had too many chances and he has got times, hasn't he? But even more so, I was pleased that Porter got a goal. I know it was a penalty, but no, yeah, that capped an excellent performance by him. Yeah, it certainly did. Porter's obviously come in and had a real uh, big impact for us. And again, you know, he's not played much football. He's trained throughout pre-season um, with, with some professional clubs, but not had loads and loads of game time. So again, to go again today and play... 90 minutes off the back of playing sort of 75 or whatever it was on, on uh, Saturday you know we needed Warriors out there today and um, you know they've certainly shown that they're, that they're together and that they're prepared to, to put their, uh, their bodies on the line to, to, to um, you know to try and win three points and you know we said at the start of the game football matches aren't always pretty they're not always pretty 
um, you have to earn a right. Um, and, uh, you know, I can say I, I was really, really pleased with, 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 with everybody. You know, but yes, Ports, uh, Mully in the second half, yeah, was was, was really positive. Yeah, talking about rugged and uh, you know battling away, it's that number nine, that target man that you actually need, rising in the way, not nobody there. I know you're making great effort to sign one without naming any names or whatever. How close are you to getting one? Do you think? Um, well, we're not imminent. We're not imminent, but obviously we've got a few days now until the next game. It's the first bit of respite that we've had. You know, it's obviously been relentless Saturday, Tuesday. And then obviously Saturday Bank Holiday since the start of the season. Um, but uh, obviously it's FA Cup on Saturday. So naturally, you know, in terms of bringing somebody in for Saturday, there are obviously players that we've already played in the competition that, um, that if we were to bring in, wouldn't be eligible for that. Um, so I certainly think that by the time the workshop game comes around, um, you know, a week on Saturday, I'd like to think that we'll be in a position where we've, we've added to the group. Spoken about the FA Cup now, that is your next match. So, what are you going to do? How are you going to approach that particular game? Well, in the same way that we approach any game, I, I understand that obviously we're playing against a step five team, but we, we certainly won't be resting on our laurels. You know, this this team that we're playing, uh, Ashby Ivano, have already beaten Chase Town, who are obviously the, the level above, who we obviously played last year, and, and we know are uh, uh, no, uh, no mugs whatsoever. So, you know, it's going to be uh, a game whereby they'll come to us try and make it as hard as they possibly can and, um, and, and they'll obviously look to try and get that first goal um, another pleasing aspect of today though is that we've shown that we, you know, we've gone a goal down and won the game whilst I've been disappointed with the last three games that we've led and not won to actually have gone behind and win you know, also is a, a real positive to come from today because again that shows that well, I think that just gives some, some belief as well that you know, if you go behind in the game and we've not too, scored loads of goals yet um, that oh, flipping it, you know, we've gone one down how are we going to score two so we've, we've, we've kind of uh, chucked that monkey off our back as well today. Yeah, I think the supporters will be really pleased and bitten that you've been back and that you've scored a late goal to, to, to take the points. Yeah, yeah, and it's funny how football works, isn't it? You know, we've, uh, we've suffered the heartache over the, last, over the last sort of six days and then, and then today, obviously, the, the joy of getting the late winner. So, um, but, but obviously, it was, I felt it was no less than what we deserved. So, yeah, we're, we're obviously very, very pleased. Absolutely, second half performance, that was the best I've seen them play in 18 months or so, really excellent performance. Wow. No, that, that's, well, that's, that's nice, that's, that's a real compliment, so um, we've obviously had some good performances, so uh, you know, I'll be sure to, to pass that on to the group. And you do it, thanks very much Josh. Cheers Dave, thank you very much.